Chick Flick Chat is brought to you by BetterBrighterEasier.com, home of Rumigator. Rumigator is the natural neutralizer. It is filled with organic essential oils, which harness the power of Mother Nature, making your surroundings smell fresh and odor-free. This room freshener and linen spray is easy to use. Just shake and spray it in your bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, car, basement, on your pillows, and anywhere that needs a little freshening. If you buy a bottle, we plant a tree with our Planet Forward Giving program. Go greener with Roomigator. It's available at betterbrightereasier.com. Helpful things for a happy life. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to Chick Flick Chat. I am your host, Lucy Weston, and I am so happy to be talking to you. Um, First time that I'm actually recording fresh and new other than uh, my uh, little intro on Anchor. Really happy to be on this platform. Been looking forward to doing a lot of Chick Flick Chats. I know it's been a while. Uh, If you follow me and you follow the Chick Flick Chats, and thank you to everybody who has been listening. The numbers are good. Um, you know, COVID just made everybody kind of look at everything differently and I needed a break. So now I'm back and I'm happy to be here, like I said. And the first movie we're going to discuss, this is going to be a fairly short review. And for two reasons, there's so much in this movie about women's roles and roles for women in the movie, in society, how it's reflected, the relationship dynamics, I love to, you know, dish on all of that. And if you've listened to my previous shows, you know that. Uh, So I'm not going to do that here because I can't do that without giving away the whole plot line. And and it's really fascinating. I was not aware of the whole story. And what makes it so fascinating is that it's true. They did take a little liberty with a few of the facts. Uh, One thing I'll share is in the movie, they, they only reflect that they had one child in the Gucci family. Did I tell you what I'm reviewing? I think I did not. This is the House of Gucci we're talking about based on the book by Sarah Gay Forden. Um, oh my gosh. I, you know, listen, I, when you see the movie, you'll understand why I just jumped right into this uh, chick flick chat. It's fascinating. And I would highly recommend that you see it in the theater if you can on a big screen. I know it's still hard right now to find a movie in the theaters with what's been going on in the world. But I got lucky enough to go to a a matinee and caught it and it was great. And it's the first time in a movie uh, that I'm going to do for Chick-fil-A Chat that I did not take notes throughout the whole film. I just watched it. And it was really wonderful in that it was the first time in two years that I'd actually been in a movie theater. And that was one of the other reasons, you know, that I kind of slowed down on Chick Flick Chat because I wasn't sure how to approach everything and who was listening at the time with everything going on. Anyway, I'm not going to spoil anything here, okay? I'm just going to give you my thoughts and why I really think you need to see this film, especially pre-Oscar. Uh, it is, it's definitely, like I said, a must-see on the big screen. Don't read about it. Don't read about the story. Don't read other reviews. Don't don't let anybody give it away for you if you don't already know the story. I did not. I had glimmers of it from, you know, years ago. It does cover from like the late 70s, uh, almost I think into the 90s, but over 20 years of their lives. And it's it's just, it's beautifully filmed. The cinematography is beautiful. There are scenes that you feel like you're in Italy and you just want to be walking, you know, the cobblestone streets and uh, the eating the food. And it's beautiful that way. The the costume uh, wardrobe mistress did a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, and you see the, the changes of wardrobe from the 70s and Gucci, the house of Gucci, the line, all the way. And the, the just beautiful, beautiful work. Um, and the designs. And yeah, it's dated because obviously it's it's in another era but it's just amazing to see and then when you see what's held up if you know the line now like what's held up and as far as the designs really 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 fascinating so anybody who's a fashionista but maybe not a a movie buff would also like uh this film and you know you see a lot of the wealth that they lived with the excessive wealth 
Uh, it's just really nice. Okay, so, so let's talk about the actors. I like to do that. Lady Gaga is the lead. And I'm not a huge fan of Lady Gaga. I don't dislike her. I just don't really follow her. But I have to say, she did a very good job. My prediction is she will get an Oscar nomination. She will not win for this. If she does, I'll come back and I'll amend this. But I don't think she's going to win. I don't think it, her performance rose to that level. Uh, maybe when I see the film again, I might change my mind on that. But she did a very, very good job. Uh, and she plays the... Um, the lead role, uh, her name is Patrizia Gucci. Uh, you know, she marries a Gucci who is played by Adam Driver, who I must say is really likable. You know, he's, he's like a leading man without the leading man good looks, even though he's kind of adorable in his own way. And he plays the part with ease. You believe everything he is doing from the, you know, the really wealthy silver spoon in his mouth, uh, uh, heir to you know who doesn't want it who just wants a simple life to, to the, the changes in, in his lifestyle and personality after he meets her and the whole dynamic of their marriage and what then what happens he's really very good uh in this role I did not expect that from when I heard he was cast as one of the Gucci's I thought oh, I don't know but he does pull it off so I suspect he'll get a, a best actor nod again I don't know that he'll win it I don't think so in this role um and, you know, I, I like Selma Hayek a lot, and she's in this, and she is, she has a, a very small supporting role, and I have to tell you, when she first came on screen, I'm like, what? Who is that? I know that face. I know that voice. It was Selma Hayek. She's very unglamorous in this movie, and it was kind of nice to see because, you know, we always see all these images of women all glammed up, and she did a good job in her small part. She made it her own, and uh, yeah, she... She brought it home, I think. So, um, another actor that's in this, and I will tell you that I actually think he has the chance to win the Oscar, is Jared Leto, who is virtually unrecognizable in the movie. And that's all I'm going to say to you about it. But I can tell you that the whole film I kept saying, wait a minute, I know those eyes. I know this. I know this actor. I know this actor. Who is this actor? Who is this actor? And then when I came out after seeing the whole film and, you know, I just sort of let it evolve for me, I was shocked that it was him. And he does a really tremendous job. It's not an easy role he plays. Uh, it's a tough role in that the choices you have to make, you have to give up your ego as an actor to be able to play a role like that. And he did. He did it in spades. So I think he's going to have a very good shot at best supporting actor. Uh, along those lines, Al Pacino, Jeremy Irons, and this other actor, younger actor, English guy named Jack Houston, who has a supporting role, does a good job. No way is he getting an Oscar on this. But uh, but Al and Jeremy both do wonderful jobs. They play the older Gucci, you know, patriarchs. Al Pacino is Al Pacino, you know, he's excellent. He does not go over the top with this, even in scenes that he could have. Uh, sometimes he does that. You know, you know him as an actor, and uh, he didn't. And Jeremy Irons is always impeccable. I mean, there's just, you know, it's, in fact, I felt like I wanted to see more of his character in the movie. I felt like we got kind of gypped uh, about his life and, and things, and, I, and it wasn't about him typically, but it was, it was interesting what we did see, especially knowing it's all true. Um, okay. I really think that it's a movie that sort of changes your view on choices, wealth, especially extreme wealth. And I think the world right now is looking at a lot of things like this. Like, what does it mean to have, you know, that $2,000 purse? Like, does it really make you any better? Um, and then, you know, what goes on behind it? and the branding and then when you when you see the business aspect of what's presented in this film and as far as I read afterward it is all true uh it kind of takes away a lot of the like mystique of oh it's a it's an Hermes or it's a Gucci or a Fendi or whatever it is in terms of the designers I mean it's beautiful stuff but 
I think there is certainly an eye-opening element to that from a business aspect that you realize it's just sales. They're selling the dream. And, uh, you know, these people were actually living the dream. And there's a big difference in those two things. So I think that's all I'm going to talk about. Uh, I think the screenplay might be nominated. It was very good. The dialogue is very good. The interactions are good. The the setups for the scenes, I the scenes the the decor. If you like, I know I mentioned the fashion, but if you like decor, it's just some of the apartments and the houses. It's all beautiful. It's beautifully beautifully filmed. Uh, and I did not know who the director was. I really went into this cold. It's Ridley Scott who did a marvelous job with something that is so different. And out of his typical Ridley Scott type of direction that I think he, you know, he, he deserves some uh, kudos for that. Really, really stretched himself. Uh, so again, I want to thank you for listening and joining me on this Chick Flick Chat. There will be more, I promise. I know I've said this before, but I'm back. And that's a wrap. This is Lucy Weston. Thank you so much for listening to this updated podcast of Chick Flick Chat, and you can always find me at betterbrightereasier.com, home of Rumigator, the natural neutralizer. Chat with you next time. Bye for now.